Hey, how you doing, y'all? My name is Sean Powell, and uh, I have my own online business, and this is going to be just for the people who have come into business with me, and your number one question is, where do I go from here? Okay, I hear it all the time. I've just got positioned in my business. I've got this done here. I'm done here. I'm ready to go, you know. Where do I go from there? I hear it a lot, and um, it's something I think a lot of people don't really give a good answer to. So what I've done is I've laid out about 12 parts, and a lot of this is just going to be me talking. And I'm going to try to go through it pretty quick because I don't want to make it real lengthy for you either. Okay? I left this picture up here just so you know who I am. That's me. I'm the ugly guy. That's my little boy. He's really cute. I figured between the both, we'd equal out. <laughs> Maybe make it look a little bit more... Um, you know more enjoyable for you to look at okay number one first thing you do y'all when you come into a business first of all I want you to make sure it's the right business for you if you don't feel like it is a blessing to some degree I mean I'm serious if you don't feel like you can't sleep if you don't feel excited about it if you don't go to work sometimes thinking hey man you know I've seen something inside of me it's just feel like it's going to bust if I don't get home and be able to work on this if you don't feel that way, y'all, make sure it's the right business for you. I don't care if you're underneath me or not, okay? Because you need to have that because when you first start a business, there is no recognition for you. There's nothing for you unless you've got a, a, a list of people, you know, from, from a list of, of other businesses, in which maybe it's a good chance you do, then maybe you do have a little bit, you know, to go with it. But for the most part, a lot of people brand new online and will treat this like you're brand new. And you need to have that belief to get you through these steps, okay? Because you have to believe when the money ain't there. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to go on detail on that. I think a lot of y'all know that. That's not part of step one. I'm just telling you that's a big part of before step one. See what I'm saying? Before you even commit to this, you need to make sure this is what you want to do, okay? I couldn't sleep. I wrote notes and notes and notes. I'll go to work working. 13 hour shifts and one hour sleep or no sleep bouncing off the walls I knew the business was right for me okay number one step one you have got to get positioned in your business period okay if you have not got um, position in your business and you can't get paid you don't have a business there's nothing there okay so don't I don't know what you're doing unless you're looking for a social club because that's all it's going to be for you until you get positioned. All right. If you need to talk to someone, I give my number in every follow-up email. Just go through, take a look at it. You can call me, text me. I had to leave my phone in the other room because I'm getting hit left and right and I don't want it to be disturbing me. And I, I, I love helping people, but I want to focus on this. That's how accessible I am to you. Okay? I want to be there for you. That's fine. I succeed by you succeeding. That's the best part, and the residual in this is incredible, y'all. Today was a $533 day for me in my business. And this is the second one I've had in the last 30 days. That was more than $500. So the money's there. Just take this seriously, y'all. Have fun, but take it seriously. Okay. When you are positioned in your position, when you are positioned in your position, when you're positioned in your business, your commitment level has to be there. Okay, let me tell you the best way to get committed to your business. When you come in and you're in, you know, the front end business, and then you got PLS to Power Lead Systems. Okay, go ahead and if you know this is what you're going to do, y'all go ahead and go diamond. Seriously, and it's not even for my own benefit to be honest. What's going to happen is, and you don't realize, is that when you don't go diamond and you do the work, if you get people in there. Those people underneath you are going to go dumb. And I average about one out of every eight people that come in through my business. And the sad part is, if you're not positioned, I'm going to get that $100. And you're going to lose it. And you're going to get an email saying, quote, unquote, you've missed $100. Okay? I don't want that to happen to you. I really don't. I'd rather you get it. And to be honest, when you go dumb, I'm going to get 100 anyhow. And then you can get paid for it. You've got to get positioned. If you're not willing to position yourself for a diamond, and to be honest, platinum, y'all, is where the money's at. It really, really is. If you keep that mentality of, you know, i got to keep everything as cheap as I can go, and I understand that, y'all, but if you're going to make a commitment to it, that's where the money's at. 
if you get into a business where there's no money involved and so many people are like, does it cost anything? It's the very first question. I will to tell you what, I give a very certain answer back. And the reason why, because you're going to quarter and dime yourself to death working your tail off on Facebook or whatever way you plan on doing it and not get nowhere. Y'all, if the business is free, entirely free, and there's no money involved at all, where is it going to come from? The only way that you have a business is from people. It takes people to do your business, okay? People ask me, is it a multi-level marketing and stuff like that? I don't know what it is. I can tell you this. There's no business without people. So is it recruiting? Well, I mean, what business do you have that don't have people? Because if it's got people in it, it's recruiting to some degree. So you can call it what you want, but it takes people. Okay. Um, when you, to me, when my business really took off is when I committed to Diamond because of the fact that I knew I had some money involved. It was $147. And right from the beginning, you know, I was, I was working it. I didn't even know how to take money out of PLS. I made $700 my first month in PLS. I made $1,800 total between uh, the front end business, my cash freebies, plus PLS. Together, you know, that was incredible to me. But I really wasn't even pushing PLS yet. It was kicking me in the back of the head saying, hey, man, look at me. I'm, I'm here. And I was I just like, you know, I know my cash freebies. I'm comfortable with it. I got in PLS because I see other people's doing it. It's really what I needed to do. And what I didn't realize was that is my future. You know, PLS pays my bills. And I enjoy my cash freebies, and I still average 900 to 1100 a month off of my cash freebies, and I love it. And I love it for more than just the fact that it's paid, because it comes really quick straight in my PayPal account. I love it for two more reasons. Number one, <clears throat> when I do PayPals and I'm doing advertisements or anything, a lot of times some people want to see pay. I don't always. A lot of times I use a picture just like this, and that works just fine. <coughs> but... When I do some payouts to show, you know, I'm getting paid, and it's the most recent payouts from like the day, yesterday, day before, day before, and it just shows a stream of payments coming in. Now, they don't even realize I'm making more money with PLS. All they see is that. Those PayPal payments are so attractive, and it's so easy to dress up. And, y'all, this right here is actually tools I need for my online business. I've got a YouTube video special, uh, specialized just for this right here. You need to look at that, too. If you're going to be serious about this, I'm showing you exactly what... Y'all, I don't know if you know this or not, but I've been number one on the leaderboard for five months straight. I know something. You might want to find out what I'm doing. I'm using an old raggedy S3 phone and has made me thousands and thousands of dollars. Yeah, I don't need, I'm using a laptop to do this video, but to be honest, y'all, I didn't need it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I could keep rolling my business with an S3 phone doing videos with that, too. I bought this just because it would be helpful for me. You know, it'd be nice. It's got a bigger hard drive, blah, blah, blah. You know, and plus it uh, converts a lot easier for video. So it makes my videos go up a lot quicker. So I've enjoyed that. Okay. But when I committed to Diamond, y'all, that's when my business changed. So commitment, you have got to go ahead and get positioned or you have nothing. If you want a social club, go find another business. I don't know what you'd find, but it's not going to be here or anywhere I'm where that you can make money to quit your job like I did. Okay, I started my online business at the end of October. Made my first dollar in line online in November. Second month in, I made uh, $700. And in May, I quit my job. So if that tells you anything, the money's out there. You just got to learn to think the right way. Okay, number two. For y'all who don't have it, IBO Toolbox. Okay, you need it. You need IBO Toolbox. Why do you need IBO Toolbox? It is a site that lets you go and you get all the free IBO URLs that you want. Okay, so now let me explain why you want to do this. And there's two good reasons for it. And I, I love IBO Toolbox, I really do. Let me put this back down and get something else to look at. <laughs> okay, number one, when you first start, you may not have a domain name, anything like that. And it can still be a little confusing for people a little bit. You can go, let's say if you got a link at, at the business I'm in right now, okay? It may, everybody have the same business link as that except the slash and username at the end. Places like Craigslist and Facebook still acknowledge that as the same page. 
You understand? Same internet page. So let's say if you got 7,000, 10,000 people in your business that are promoting their link on Facebook or Craigslist, Facebook is going to say, oh, 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 this has got to be spam. There's no other way that, you know, just links getting out there like that. So they're going to put a stop on it or, you know, play with that link and make it really hard for you because people are like, is this safe? You know, this is saying it's spam. Number one reason that Facebook does that, well, two reasons, I guess. Number one, they want to make money off of you, okay? They'll take that link and they'll put it out there and advertise the hell out of it for you if you're paying them. They don't care about that. Number two <clears throat> is the fact that they're trying to protect from being spam. I mean, there's a certain amount of legit to that. You understand? So, and they have no other filter and ways of doing it except what they're doing. What I do is I go to IBO Toolbox. You make an account. It's free. Don't do anything else there, but just go make an account if you don't want to. It's a good, it's a respectful place, but that's all you really need to do. Okay. Go there, make an account, and go straight to uh, IBO URLs located on the right. Now, I have a YouTube video. Let me see if I can't. My computer's a little slow when I do... Uh, when I do videos, so I apologize. That's good enough for now. <coughs> okay, so let's go. Number one is going to be uh, position. You position yourself in the business. That is a given. Okay, number two is going to be IBO, which is independent business owner, if you didn't know that, um, tool box and there you're going to get um, IBO URLs okay y'all I have used this seriously for my first day in online business and it has been to me it's a given you know and of course I've got domain names I do now ironically you don't have to have a domain name to do a lot of these businesses now in due time you probably will but for right now you, you probably don't okay and you don't you don't really necessarily need one right now but what it does is it lets you go you take your link that is yours now and I've got a video that shows you exactly how to do that as well okay you take that link and then you put it in there and then it renames it and it's gonna be a funky name if you've ever looked at YouTube names where it be H H four eight seven B four nine three. I mean, just gibberish. That's the actual name of that URL for you. Then it asks you, would you like to put .net, and you say yes. Okay. When you do that, it'll go HTTP IBO URL .net slash, and then you can write whatever name you want it to be. Okay. And what I like about that is. It's so organized, and, and no, you know what? People say, "Well, you know what? It's it's not as professional." I've had seven thousand plus people, literally myself, go through my business since March, and I don't have any problem with nobody's ever said, "Well, you know, it's a URL from IBO. I don't think I want to go there." They don't think like that. Nobody does. Okay, that's just someone else trying to push something on you. And even though that's in my business itself, you know, domain names and stuff like that, I'm just flat out telling you the truth. You don't need it. <clears throat> So when you go there, if you want to see exactly how to do that, click one of my uh, videos, and it'll show you. I have a video. Uh -oh. oh well, <laughs> I have a video showing how to do URLs, and these are entirely free. Okay, now when you have someone new coming in, they can really benefit from what you know right here y'all. IBO Toolbox can really help you look like the man or woman. You know, you know what's got, got going on. So I'm gonna highly suggest y'all, and I'm gonna tell you, I don't like, I love keyboards, I just don't like uh, laptop keyboards. They don't work very well for me. Okay, so to me, that is a very strong part that needs to be part of your business that you can, you know, use and not only that, y'all, you can make as many IBO URLs as you possibly want. So let's say if you go there and you do 10 of them at one time, right, you'll have them. And you can do one for just Craigslist, one for just Facebook, one for just this and that. I name, like, this is what mine would look like. Uh, it'd be the HTTP IBO 
URL.net slash um, your online way to freedom. Okay, that's it, right? But now what I'll do is that's my first one. The second one will be number two. The third one I make will be number three. The fourth one I make will be number four. The reason I like to go ahead and make a couple of them at one time. Facebook has a tendency to still play with you even when you have your own link. I have noticed that people say, hey buddy, you know, if it's and use your instinct, y'all. If it's a Friday night and you're not getting hit at seven o'clock where you know you should be getting slammed, and see the, the weird part is you can check your own link and it'll work in Facebook. You can get your friends to check your link and it'll work in Facebook. But someone who's not on your friends list, new you know, person, you know, people looking at your business, they can't use it sometimes. I go ahead and I make five of these or ten of these at a time. It won't take a minute. You'll see that when you watch my video. Okay. When I do that, then let's say somebody says, hey, it's not working. Okay. Well, look, all I got to do is go to my message and say if it was number three. Okay. Then I'll take that away and go to number four, copy, paste, save. And now my brand new link that I'm certain is going to work has been put into it at place. Then you got someone that says, hey, buddy, I tried to go through. Your link's not working. The very first thing I do is send them that brand new link. Okay, they'll almost always tell me that worked great, thanks. And then they're going through. It's just being prepared. I think IBO2 uh, IBO toolbox is free. Gives you all the URLs. You can name it professionally, however you want. Uh, work with shown. Uh, name your business. It don't matter. There's no wrong way, you know, to, to to do it. So just do that. I think that's very very important. Okay. Um. Number three. That was not number three. Duh. Right, we'll go down over here and then go to number three. All right, number three. You have to work with me. Sorry, y'all. <coughs> Pick one way to get out to the people. Okay. So you're looking at only one way that you want to actually get out to the people. So let's go. Uh, business one way only okay if you're new to online business y'all it can be very very overwhelming and I know this for a fact because I see people get in they're excited they got the excitement level they're supposed to be they loving it ain't sleeping you know I'm positioned in my business I'm ready to go BAM okay well if you're doing Craigslist training and trying to do Craigslist and you're doing Facebook and you're trying to do Facebook training at the same time. And then you're looking at possibly making a domain uh, with you know hosting and putting out your own blog and stuff like that. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen, y'all. You're gonna run in about ten different directions, and guess what? You're not getting nowhere. You need to stay focused on one way. Now I don't care what way you pick. I really don't. I myself, yeah, I mean I love I love Facebook, and you know what the weird part is, y'all? I hated Facebook. I used Facebook to back up pictures of me and my little boy on vacations. That's all I ever used Facebook. I'm forty two year old man. You know, won't even a year ago. It feels like it's been years. But that's when my mind's always been in the business, but I'm always thinking about you know so it feels like it's been longer. But it won't even a year ago. I didn't care about Facebook. I didn't care. I was not a Facebook fanatic. You know, I was like, Well these people are crazy. To be honest, that's what I thought about. But when I first came in online business, I collect arcade games. Okay, I've got 13 of them in my house. These are the big ones from the 80s and 90s. I love them. A little boy loves it. The neighbor kids love it. Okay, I understood Craigslist. I knew how powerful Craigslist was. I knew how big it was. So, my intentions were I was going to hit Craigslist wide open and I was going to stay focused at that and I was going to make a million dollars on Craigslist. Okay, I'm in North Carolina. And y'all, there's money on Craigslist. Don't, don't get me wrong. I hit it hard as I could. I stayed focused at just Craigslist. I did exactly what I was supposed to do. I learned to master that way. Okay. Master that one way. Okay. Learn to master that one way, whatever it was. Okay. Let me put that there. Whatever it is. <coughs> okay. Even though I got 
150 leads probably off my first month, which was not bad for someone who had no idea and still working 65 hours a week in a restaurant. I still didn't realize that I was not going, I'm not getting the right kind of leads. You know, in North Carolina, people might look at your business, but online business, a lot of time for these people, there's a lot of country people. These are farmers, blah, blah, blah. You know, and I'm not saying, I'm not stereotyping North Carolina, but I'm just saying it they weren't necessarily the right kind of people. You want to get people or leads in your business that are like minded. Okay. So you definitely want to get like like minded uh, people. Okay. In my opinion, my personal opinion, Facebook is full of like minded people. Okay. Now you can hit Craigslist. I'm not knocking that. You can do anything you want. But stay one way and one way only and get really good at that one way. Okay. Now, when you've mastered it, now, and what I consider mastering is this. Not only are you getting leads, you're getting a, an excessive amount of the right kind of leads. Okay. So let's say if you're getting 60 leads or up, I'm averaging myself, I average 60 to about 100 leads a day. Okay. That's mainly on Facebook. I've got my YouTube videos that may have a couple that fall through, but I really ain't using YouTube that way right now. I'm using it for y'all. That's really what I'm using Facebook for. Oh, I'm sorry, YouTube. Okay, so <clears throat> okay, so but you want to get the right kind of people in there that's in the right kind of mind frame. And when you get to a certain point, you're going to have roadblocks. Okay, I don't care what you do. There's going to be a roadblock. Now that roadblock to me, a lot of times it may be you getting leads. It may be, well, why am I getting leads but they're not converting? Everything, if it's not payment going in your bank account, is something that needs to be addressed. Now, is it because you need to reach out more to people? Is it because maybe, I don't know. I mean, you got to look at everything. But you've got to use your gut feeling, y'all, and ask yourself, why am I not converting better? And look, y'all, if you get paid every day, guess what? The number one question still is, why ain't I still converting better? You can always get bigger and better. I don't care where you're at. Okay? I'm, I'm, <coughs> I stay pretty high on the leaderboards, but that doesn't mean that I can't get better and better and better. And also doesn't mean some of the people below me ain't getting paid better also. Okay? So just common sense is, master one way that you get really good at. Okay, if you got really good at Facebook and you know how to get 60, 70, 80 leads a day every day and you feel confident about it, okay, you got a choice now. Now, A, you can stay with that, or B, I've mastered that. I'm curious about blogs and then stay focused at blogs. Or better yet, do blogs first, and then when you get really good at blogs, then you've got residual effort put in, then you can focus on Facebook. See what I'm saying? But whatever you want to do. But the number one thing that you can do, y'all, is when you get when you master that one way. You now have a way to help the people that come into your business. Okay, <clears throat> you now have a way to help the people that come into your business, and y'all. That's, that's very, very valuable. You want people to believe in you. They want You want people to know that you're real. And y'all, I'm going to tell you, if you're not positioned in your own business with everything, don't expect them to do it because they're not. They're going to be doing just like you are. Whatever you do bad, they're going to do three times worse. So, and they can tell if, you, if, you're, you know, if you're the real thing or not. So y'all, I'm saying, let's see, one way. I got e-way. Uh -huh. All right. So that's very, very important, and plus you'll have something that you can pass to people. <clears throat> okay, number four, follow-up emails. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, y'all. But yes, you do need follow-up emails. What happened to follow-up? I'm an idiot. <laughs> I type fine. I just don't like <laughs> laptops. Okay, follow-up emails, y'all. Okay, you gotta think about something. And I've been thinking about this recently, and again, I'm constantly thinking, trying to think about things. 
when someone see you in your business, and let's say if they're watching a the video, if the video's 20 minutes long, okay, now you already got an autoresponder that's going out directly. You know they got that, okay. So, bing, they got something that pops up saying they got an email. Number two, if you send them a follow-up email at the exact same time, very personal, and you're spilling all the beans and everything in it, there's a good chance you are actually affecting these people from looking at your business. Something to think about. Okay? So I've learned that a lot of times you may be better off. I've seen that email, uh, follow up come in. Great. Don't hit it at that same moment. Okay? Let them digest the business because you don't want to be. How would you like to be seeing a business that's going to change your life for the first time and be constantly being annoyed by something? See what I'm saying? So follow-up emails, I think, I mean, you can send out your first, you know, autoresponder one. That's fine. Let it stay at that. And then a little bit longer, when you know it's been 30 minutes or later, or if you see them sign up for that front-end business, that, you know, your front-end one or something like that, I think that's a perfect time to go ahead and send them out that follow-up email. Because now they've, they've got a little bit of knowledge of what's going on. And you can introduce yourself. You can tell what that business means to you. Maybe like me and my little boy. Be sincere, y'all. You got a life. Show people. You know what I'm saying? Tell people that you're real. I give everybody my personal phone number. I really do. Out of the 7,000 plus people right, re, recent, uh, right, recently I've had, I have never been bitten to tell with anything that hurt me. So nothing wrong. The only thing I've done is made money by giving out my email, I mean, uh, you know, email, text, and my local phone number, uh, my real phone number, so people can contact me. <clears throat> Put that in follow up emails. I do a couple follow up emails. Now, whether or not, you know, you want to do something like that, that's entirely up to you. I give one follow up email from the very first get go. When they sign up at the front end business, whatever that business is, I, I praise that business. I may show them some payments. If you've got something, use it, y'all. Use it, okay? That just shows credibility in who you are and your business. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. You're not showing off. And if you don't have it, you don't need it either. Not yet. Just tell people that you believe in it. You know, tell them how how important the front end business is to you know to you. It could be something that they don't have a monthly fee or something. That's usually how a lot of front end businesses are. Okay, so after they come in, give them that. But you want to give them a call to action, which means where's to go next? What's the next step? Step two. It's not just this, okay, hey, y'all, you know, front-end business is awesome. I've made a lot of money in this. I've been paid $33 over 150 times since March the 10th. I love the business. But, y'all, as good as that is, the residual is, is just even better. Say something like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, it's real to me. But I'm, I'm just saying, say something like that and tell them, you know, that I made $700 my first month on the residual. I'm not expecting you to do that, but that's the truth for me. Use what you've got. If you've got something that will help it, use it. If not, this is what you can do. What were you impressed with this business? What made you decide to do it? Okay? If your sponsor did something particular that you liked, then keep that in mind, whatever that was. Okay? So to me, I think that's... <coughs> Excuse me. I think that's real important that you jot down what's great. In my opinion, one of the best things in the business has got the private Facebook group, y'all, has got literally the creators of the system. It has um, administrators and it has uh, half the leaderboard. You know, so I would use that in reference and telling them that because they don't know anything yet. Tell them y'all go ahead and sign up and hit the. Um, my private Facebook group is located here and just you know use it use that and you, you get people wanting to go to that next step and they don't even know it see what I'm saying give them the next level where to go to so I'm gonna keep it short on number four but that's your answer <coughs> alright number five and y'all if, if you don't really have a whole lot of knowledge and follow-up emails it can be something as simple as just introducing yourself and tell them to know hey I'm accessible to you Bam, if you need anything, here's my number. I'd be tickled to help you out. You know, it could be something as simple as that. Nobody's ever going to put you down for that either. Um, number five. I'm going to show you something, y'all. Even though I'm at the level that I'm at in my business, I constantly am still learning. You see this right here? That says Phil's comment. I'm going to show you Phil's comment. Phil is nobody that I particularly know. 
His name is Phil because I seen it on Facebook and he wrote something back to someone that I thought was a good answer. Okay. Thanks for your interest in this opportunity. After I completed the training, I've applied this process to everything. And I mean every, uh, every and anything that I promote online. I earn big commissions just from posting and doing what this uh, system shows me. Are you ready? Enter your best email and watch the video via, and I put my own in there because I didn't want y'all to be seeing his stuff. Uh, click follow the link if Facebook redirects you. Message me if you need any support. I know this system inside and out. Okay. Uh, thanks again for your interest, and I will email you my personal video showing what this business does and means to me and my little boy. I added this myself because I was looking at how how to you know to do something different. So I changed it a little bit. Um, I know the system inside and out. You see this right here. Sometimes y'all, it's a little nook and cranny of one little thing that you find that works for you. I like that. Yes, I know my system inside and out, but have I told people I don't? No, I hadn't. So. Even though Phil has no idea, I copied and pasted this, and I'm not going, not using what he's got. I've changed the things. It's not just what he's done. I've added my own stuff to it. But make it your own, but be influenced by it. And your people below you are going to be influenced by you. So be influential to them. Okay? Use your surroundings. If you are sitting in Facebook and this is you, and there's 30,000 people around it, don't be naive. Learn from everybody around you, but I'm going to tell you the secret to how you're going to stand out. This is them, and this is going to be you, a big old block compared to them. I'm going to show you that in just a minute. Okay. Is that where I'm at? There we go. Okay. <coughs> All right, number six. Let's see, number five was uh, learn from people around you. And if I was in person right here in front of you, I'd be telling you this exact same stuff, y'all. So, in the exact same way. So I'm sorry if I'm a little lengthy, but that's how I work. Number six, y'all. Um, don't expect the tools to have all the answers. Okay. You've learned a lot of things. They've taught you how to do this. They've taught you how to do that. All sorts of different things. But y'all, you need to learn to use common sense also. So, um, let's see. Don't expect tools to give you all the answers. Alright, let's do sub over here. I'm going to do. Uh, I honestly, y'all, got feelings and common sense. Oops. Got all backwards there, didn't I? Okay. Yeah. System laid out, it gives you all the answers to everything, right? Nope. I don't care what it does. It's never going to give you the gut feelings that something's wrong. The gut feelings like, I can do something better. Now, they give you autoresponders, and they may be great autoresponders, but is it as good as your email? Is your email going to get better? And I'm going to tell you something, y'all. If this is your first month online, you think one year from now, do you think your follow-up emails are going to look the same? No, they're not. Learn to tweak things. Okay, I'm going to tell you, y'all, this is a big one. I tweak things all the time. My follow-up emails are still being tweaked. I need to go back. Sometimes they say so many things I want to say, then they get too long, then I go go back and shrink them down, and then, you know, back and forth. It's an ongoing thing for me, okay? But that's fine. It's, <coughs> excuse me, it's growing and learning and using my gut feeling and common sense, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So understand that the tools are not going to give you all the answers. Use the tools, but when something just doesn't feel right, like, you know what, I just don't feel like I'm getting commissions. Well, you know what? I've got their email at the front end business. I know those are real, too. I haven't, I haven't emailed them. Maybe I need to email. Maybe I need to do a broadcast. Maybe I need to do this. Maybe I need to just ask, hey, y'all, anybody in the front end business, whatever it's called, whatever it may be at the time, you know, it's like, if anybody needs any help, just let me know. I'd be tickled to death to help you out. And, you know, do something as simple as that, y'all. You understand that I've got two emails. Let's say this is one right here. This is an autoresponder. 
I've got my own personal emails over here. Do you know which emails I get emailed back from? These. Not just some, few, all. All my personal emails are the ones that people contact me back with telling me that they need this or this or this. It's because I'm reaching out to them. Okay? A lot of tools. There's tools out, yeah. A lot of these tools right here are not going to tell you to do that. Okay? But y'all, now the ones who reach out to you, the ones that are messaging me on my phone, probably wondering why I had messaged back because I'm doing this video. Those you want you want these people reaching out for you okay but sometimes when you got let's say if you got a front-end business with a credit and they got to get a credit or something they're sitting at point six nine sometimes they're having a problem and they ain't reached out to you there's a slight chance they've tried to reach out to you somehow and they couldn't get to you I don't know how or why but it, it happens you know reach out to these people and ask them is there anything I can do to help you out You'll be amazed how often they're going to say, hey, look, something happened here. And you may know the answer right now. It's like, hey, buddy, look, I can take care of that. Don't worry about it. You can get paid commissions and this person beating gear on your team going. Because you sent out an email that was sincere and personal to them. So just use common sense, y'all. Usually when you think something's not right, it's because you're right. Okay? Number seven. I'm trying to hurry, y'all. Sorry. Good stuff. I know it isn't. Um... I say, don't expect tools to give you all the answers. Uh, uh, so here's another comment. If you're an entrepreneur, you have got to use your instincts. Okay. Those instincts are going to be worth more to you than anybody teaching you something. I guarantee you that in, in tools a lot of times. After you learn the basics, you learn some stuff, and then you can teach your other people what you've learned, like I'm doing right now. Okay. All right, y'all. Number seven. <laughs> And I kind of hit on this earlier. I cannot stress to you how important that is, y'all. You have got to believe in your business. Okay. Not only do you have to believe in your business, you've got to, let's see, let's see, go number eight. I'll make this number eight just because it's that big. And this seems like a simple one, don't it? Don't quit. Because, remember I was telling you earlier, you got to believe in your business when the money ain't there. That's how it works. And you can't quit in the process if you haven't reached there in the first place. Okay? And a lot of people, y'all, they're going to use that first roadblock as being, oh, man, here's that exit. And, and I really believe that God sits here and gives you that roadblock because he wants to know, are you going to hit your head and quit? Or are you going to veer, I mean, you're going to veer off to the right right here and take that real easy exit? Here you go. Bye. You're gone now. Bye, buddy. Or are you actually going to sit there and hit your head on that roadblock and figure it out? Do what you got to do. Do Google searches. Go into the you know Facebook groups. Contact your sponsors. Hey, buddy, look, I know you're beyond this. What can I do? What do you think I can do? Do what you got to do to get the answers. See what I'm saying? That's what hitting that roadblock does. A lot of people, y'all, are looking a reason to quit. It's so easy to quit. It really is. And the sad part is, from what I can tell, 90% of the time, the answer to your niche, the way of getting what you really wanted out of your business, is right on the other side of that roadblock. But y'all, 99% of the people on Facebook hit that roadblock and quit. That's why no, no, Facebook isn't rich. The, or the people in Facebook isn't rich. That guy is. <laughs> they owns it. But... And YouTube's the same way. You know, if it was, all the people on YouTube and all the pe people on Facebook would be filthy rich walking around. But they don't. And the answer why they don't is this right here. They quit. Looking away out. You have got to say to yourself, I believe in this business. You might be able to say, I believe in me, the person that's sitting there showing you this. And you sit there and say, I know he's going to be there for me. I know he quit his job. I know he makes pretty good money off of what he's doing. I know it's nothing work compared to what I'm going to be. But everybody's always going up. It's, there's no limitations, y'all. That's incredible. And nobody can fire me. That's incredible. For some of y'all, that might mean a lot. Okay? But you just got to say to yourself, I'm not going to quit. And believe it. You can't just say it. You've got to know that you're not going to quit and that you believe it. All right, y'all. I'm just about finished here. This is number nine.
All right, you see that. Show people that you believe in your business. I get people, and I do mean every, every, every day. And a lot of these guys haven't figured it out, and they've been doing online business for 10 years. You know, And the sad part is, if someone's been around that long, they're passionate about it. You know they are. The problem is, they are passionate on the wrong side. They contact me, saying, quote, unquote, Sean, how do you get these leads like this? How do you get conversions? And and I'm I'm putting I know they're putting in the work. There's no doubt about it. But they don't realize that even though they're passionate, they're showing me. Why aren't they showing them that they're passionate? The people are the ones that need to see you're passionate. I don't need to see it. I know you're passionate. You've been doing it for ten years, or two years, or whatever. And you know, I can tell it, it, it really affects them. Well, that's great, but you need to put that, that sometimes you got to get your butt kicked for a little while y'all, before you get your answers. Sometimes God makes that happen to you to see if you really want to do it, just like I was talking about that roadblock. Sometimes you got to get your butt kicked for a while before you keep going, and he wants to make sure you don't quit. But y'all, I'm telling you, when you open up and forget, hey, I don't care what people see anymore, and you throw it out there, and this is real important, y'all. <coughs> Don't be scared to try things. Don't be scared to throw it out there and see what happens. It's only failure in online business, y'all, if you quit because of it. I don't care what happens. If you quit because of it, then it's failure. If something don't work, I'm telling you now, hey, buddy, look, I've got something now I can teach my downline. I did this on Craigslist. It didn't work, man. Now, you can do whatever you want to do, but I'm just going to let you know. I, it was bad for me. It really didn't work and blah, blah, blah. And, and explain, you've got something that you can help people with. And when it comes to Facebook, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. I can sit here and make ads. And I remember at the beginning, I sent two weeks solid on just making ads that I thought were going to stand out against the other 30, 60,000 people in the group. Because that's the answer, to be honest. You won't stand out. And I can do an ad, and it would work great. And then the next ad wouldn't. And I really didn't know the answer why it didn't. It's the same freaking ad, just about. But it just didn't jive with the people. It's not a matter of what I think. It's a matter of what they think. Lead numbers is my success. My commissions is my success. It's not, well, you know what? I really like this picture. This ad looks really good. It don't matter what I think. And get over that. Think about what they think. Because that's your answer right there. And that's real important, y'all. Do not drop that. That's real important. Um, let's see. Let's show people what you believe. Okay. Almost done, y'all. Number 10. Uh, get involved with your business people. Okay. Maybe your belief isn't quite there yet, right? You know the business is real, you just don't believe you know that your your belief system's there yet. People in the business have got the belief system, okay? If there's people in there that's making money, and I don't care who they are, if they're in your downline or in upline or not, if there's a Facebook group and they got some sharp individuals sitting there just flat out telling you, hey y'all, you can tell they're pouring their heart out, you need to do this, you know, listen to them. You know what I'm saying? You need to get involved with these people. If that's me, then you know what? I want you to be the next one ringing on my phone over there. Because the ones who reach out to me are the ones that make it. That's the secret, y'all. Did you know that? Because the ones that I'm reaching out to, a lot of times I'm trying to strike interest in it, but they may be too shy or bashful or, or worse, have that mentality that, you know, I can't ever make this kind of money. Y'all, I made over $500 today. I painted the upstairs of my house. I've got an old two-story house I'm remodeling. $533, and I didn't barely do a thing online. That's what made me want to come here and do this, because I had enough people asking me, and I, I didn't have time. So I'm like, you know what? I need to make a YouTube video while I continue to paint on my house a little bit. You know, I always want to come first, but now is a good time. When my little boy's in school, I've got to stay focused on painting my house. But $533 days with no attention is just incredible. That just lets you know I'm in the right business, y'all. And I know what I'm doing. I really, I really do. I'm not trying to brag, but I do know. So, y'all, 
get in the back pocket of whoever showed you what. And if they don't know, then go where you can go. Don't knock your sponsor if they don't know, because they may be one day newer than you are, or older than the business than you are. Okay, can't knock somebody for being new. All right. Um. <coughs> okay, this is the last one right here, y'all. Use the tools and teaching and learn how to type on this keyboard. Use the tools and teaching I provide. Okay. Use the tools and teaching I provide. The reason I'm telling y'all this, y'all, to be honest, I'm pretty successful at what I do. I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to try to make it. I know what I'm doing. I'm flat out telling you that I, I get 60 to 100 leads average, and half the time I'm not even really focused on what I'm doing because I'm doing other things around my house and got my little boy. I'm a full-time dad. Y'all, the business is real. It stands up. It will hold us on. The people need you to show them it's real. They need you believing in this business so that they can believe in it. And y'all, if you're not positioned in it, then you're 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 here for a social meeting, okay? I don't I don't know what you're going to do, but if you haven't got positioned in the business yet, after you've heard this right here and you hear me telling you fat out the, the truth, then you need to go ahead and position yourself. Point blank. That's that's step number one. That's got to be done. Okay. That's not for my own benefit. That's for your own benefit. You're not going to get paid, so that's just too important. I have got videos, y'all, that show. Um, exactly my capture landing pages that I've created in PLS it's simple to do and you can look at it directly and I'm sitting there telling it how important and how awesome having a whole summer every day to me and my little boy is that's incredible man I don't even that's over four months now my boss man ex boss man who retired saw me the other day at Burger King and he told me he said buddy you look good you know and I was like well that's what not working for four months does after you work 65 hours a week my hair ain't oily from being in the restaurants. I didn't look like I've gained more weight now. I weigh almost 100. I weigh 175 pounds. I'm six feet tall though, so I'm not fat. I'm good to go. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yes, I'm saying it's just amazing when you've got time. You don't have to be rich, y'all. And look, a lady a few minutes ago before I jumped over here said, "Quote unquote," she made $800 every two weeks. Y'all, she would be gone in like no time flat from a job. I'm serious. It don't take much. This business does that, man. Get in here. Get positioned. There's a link below if you're brand new. If you have never seen what I do, there's links down below. Particular death that come through. Contact me, man. If you go through, you're going to get my email follow-up, and it's going to have my contact information up there or my phone number up there. Y'all, you can tell I'm serious about it. You can tell I'm the real deal. You can tell I'm not lying about it. You tell the business is real, and you can tell you need to commit yourself to it and do it. That's it. Y'all, I hope this wasn't too long out, uh, drawn out for you. I just, I really want y'all to make it, to be honest. I want everybody to do it. And, you know, my videos also, y'all, share and show you diamond, platinum. Uh, I show you how many gold members. I got. I got 43 new gold members in the last 30 days. I looked that up this morning while showing somebody. And, y'all, sometimes... Even though I, my business is growing pretty pretty rapidly, you know, like compared to a lot of people, at least that's what they tell me, I don't feel like it's moving fast, you know? But it's one of those things you look back after two weeks or a month, it's like, wow, I'll do it more than I thought, you know? And I have, y'all, even I have days that I didn't make nothing. And the ratios are just stupid. Why did I get 35 leads and nobody got in? You know, it, I'm sorry, y'all, but that's just part of the that's just part of the business. You can't explain things. You really can't. You cannot control what people do. What you can control is the fact that you continue to get out there and get better. And then you weigh out why didn't they do this from this? If it need be, if it's just one day, don't don't knock that too much. It's just a fluke more likely. But y'all, just put everything together. Use your instincts. Get positioned. And uh, get my back pocket if you need. And I will talk to you as long as it need to go to get you going. Okay? I'll be tickled to death to help you out, y'all. If you need anything, just let me know.